Today, more than ever, we need to come together to address poverty, racism, and social injustice. Because every child deserves a pathway to opportunity. Because the business community can help young people work toward a better future. Because the magic of performance gives everyone a chance to grow. That's why the All Stars Project reaches thousands of kids every year, and why caring adults from all walks of life are actively involved. Come join a growing number of Americans who are saying, I'm an All Star. 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 So become an All Star today. Visit allstars.org forward slash get involved welcome to the all-stars projects 2021 national gala vision virtually how the all-stars project is overcoming adversity leading on equity creating with intensity and building with generosity please welcome our host he is an award-winning journalist and the host of the hit mtv series true life crime domati pongo Welcome. We are thrilled to have all of you all stars, young people, supporters, corporate champions, volunteers, and brand new friends here for our gala vision virtually to celebrate how the all stars project is overcoming adversity, leading on equity, creating with intensity and building with generosity. Every spring, all star leaders, champions friends and young people and for this gala which helps make all stars life-changing programs completely free for kids across the country and while we can't see you in person today we're thrilled to have you joining us in an even bigger virtual national gathering to celebrate our kids the all stars is anniversary and special thanks to our three dishonorees mark gans of ey hilco global and drew williamson of Corley. Let's show them some love. Yes, be ready to do a lot of those jazz hands. That is how we'll be applauding. And we're going to be so, have so much fun tonight. I'm so excited. We're going to do a lot of that tonight. Keep those hands ready. We also want to hear from you throughout the show. And our chat is live. And we want to see where you guys are checking in from. So jump on the chat, log into your Vimeo account, or you can chat as a guest. So please go ahead, tell us where you're viewing from. And we also invite you to use our hashtag, ASP Vision Virtually on Twitter, Instagram, while you watch. And you'll see your post pop up right here throughout the show. Let's see where folks are checking in from. From Indiana, we've got New Jersey in here. What's going on? I see Brooklyn in here. It's a lot of folks in here. And we want to give a big shout out tonight to the New York Jets. Uh, last December, they gave a $250,000 contribution to ours. the team's social justice and and diversity efforts in all stars young people. Most recently, they featured all stars in their new It Can't Wait video podcast, hosted by former Jets linebacker Bart Scott. Let's take a look at some excerpts from the show. Can't wait. I'm here to have real conversations, to hear from the people on the front lines of the social justice movement. The time to talk about it is now. It can't wait. Welcome to It Can't Wait. On this episode, we're going to learn all about the All Stars Project, a national nonprofit that works to transform the lives of young people in communities in need. I'll be having a conversation with the CEO of the All Stars Project, along with two people whose involvement in the All Stars Project changed their lives. But first, let's find out more about this great organization that the Jets have partnered up with in their fight against social injustice. My name is Chris Street. I'm the president of the All Stars Project. My name is Shade McDaniel. I'm the vice president and city leader of the All Stars Project of New Jersey. My name is Antoine Joyce. I'm the vice president and city leader of the All Stars Project of Dallas. The All Stars Project was founded because millions of young people in our country were not able to realize their potential. I first met the All Stars Project in 1991. I was a young person looking for opportunity. I first got involved as a volunteer back in 1992. 
we provide free, high quality after school development programs that have impacted thousands of young people from poor communities. In the All Stars Project, we use performance as a development tool to transform the lives of youth in poor communities. Young people are encouraged to act and step outside of their comfort zones, like in our programs like Development School for Youth or Operation Conversation Cops and Kids. The All Stars Project has a 40 year history of grassroots organizing and community building in poor neighborhoods across the country. From the first moment that the All Stars Project set foot on the streets of Newark back in 99, we've been working to bridge a long standing and often tense urban suburban divide. One of our unique contributions, particularly to social justice, is that we've added development. And development is a, it's a critical component of addressing poverty and moving our country forward. The Jets players and management are all in when it comes to social justice. Well, your home team is a historic organization like the New York Jets, and they step forward to partner with the poor community. I mean, that's pretty meaningful. You know, young people and families in the inner cities where we work will know and see that the Jets care and they care about these real issues. And that's some powerful stuff. The Jets and the All-Stars Project know that winning the game depends on performance. Whether you're a linebacker or an inner city youth, your ability to perform at the highest level requires teamwork, the ability to learn new performances and game plans. So we'll use this shared perspective to tackle racism and poverty throughout 2021. So I guess a, a smooth transition is, you know, to really talk to you guys about why you got involved in the, the All-Star Project and why is it so important? You know, I first met the All-Stars when I was 19 years old. I was a young actor. I had moved to New York City from a small town. And uh, the All-Stars at the time was an all grassroots, all volunteer effort. And, you know, I was really a change the world person. And when I met the All-Stars, it was just the perfect fit for me. I first became employee number one and then have built it for three decades as its founding CEO. So I started as a receptionist. So I would open the door, I would answer the phones. And while I was there, I would hear about these amazing programs. And everyone I met, even the young people would say, you're in the age range, you should join the program. Uh, and kind of as a way to get everybody off my back, I said, fine, fine, I'll find it. I'll join the program. And I did, and in those moments, I learned that, oh, this program, one, it's for me, but it's also a great opportunity to get some skills that we don't get in our, in our communities. Uh, we don't get these skills in school. Uh, so I had this tremendous sense of responsibility to share this with everybody I could, uh, every young person, every adult. Uh, so now my role as the Associate Director of Youth and Community Development is to continue finding ways to invite young people and adults to participate in our after-school programs. Bible, why don't you tell us about your role and the impact of you know, the All-Star Project and how it has helped and changed and, and motivated you. I was in the library one day and I heard one of these girls talking about having to dress professionally every day after school for the All-Stars Project. In the back of my head, I'm thinking, dang, professional chic is kind of my aesthetic. How about I, you know, listen in a little bit? <laughs> and she mentioned the All-Stars Project and I turned and I looked at her and I was asked, what's that? And she started explaining it to me and I was like, okay, cool. I went home that day, looked into it, and I was like, okay, great. I get to dress professionally, talk to new people. Let me apply. I applied. I got into development, the development school for you, and I thought it was going to be a breeze. I'm already outgoing, already like dressing professionally, and I got there, and I was shocked. I had to learn how to talk to a whole bunch of different people, but the All Stars Project allowed me to open up and share my experiences with other people who wouldn't have known me otherwise. And it also showed me that people in the professional world are not cold and they're not distant. They actually want to help me get to where they're at. And it was a great experience learning that other people are willing to help me get to that professional state. When you hit on something, because I tell people all the time, it's not about your net worth, it's about your network. And to be able to do that, you have to come out of your shell and understand that sometimes people are just as intimidated to talk to you that you know, than you are to talk to them. So guys, tell me about Operation Conversation with Cops and, and what that means and entails and how did it get started? Well, you know, Bart, Operation Conversation Cops and Kids got started in 2006 and it really came from an it can't wait moment. And that moment was the fatal shooting of Sean Bell 
um, in Queens, New York. Um, he was a young man, young black man coming out of his bachelor party and was shot by undercover police officers in a case of mistaken identity. There were massive protests. New York was really a tinderbox and there was a huge outcry against police abuse and for racial justice. And the All Stars Project participated in the marches for justice. And we also felt we had to go beyond that and really address the root cause of the problem. And so Operation Conversation Cops and Kids was designed to really challenge the culture of mistrust between young people of color and police officers. And so far we've had uh, over 5,000 inner city young people and police officers involved in New York City and in Newark, New Jersey. So Dwayne, as an African-American male, uh, sometimes considered the suspect, you know, how important is this to you that, you know, we have the ability to bring some of the cops that, you know, cop the communities and be able to have these conversations about the protocol, their procedure, you hear their perspective, they hear your perspective. Is How important is this? And, you know, have you seen a difference? I had the opportunity to participate in a few Operation Conversation Cops and Kids workshops as a young man in the program myself. And this program actually became therapeutic for me to hear and be able to, to interact with police officers who are not much older than me. And a lot of it sounded like talking to an older sibling or an aunt or an uncle. And there, there was a particular moment where uh, a white police officer looked at me and she said, I'm sorry for the experiences that you've had. And I'd never met her before. She had nothing to do with it going on in my life. But to hear that from a police officer saying that she became a cop because she wanted to help people. So hearing some of the struggles of black men knowing what communities they can't go into, what spaces they shouldn't be in, things they can't say and not feeling safe. She apologized to me and it gave me this sense of relief that I never knew I needed. Revival on us, tell me a little bit about the uh, development school for the youth and uh, some of the things that take part in there. The workshops uh, kind of were tailored towards the young people. We were listening to all these young professionals stand up, talk about how they got to where they got. And oftentimes it felt like they were directing their conversation towards us. This one time we were listening to a presentation and our presenter was telling us how he grew up poor and him growing up poor motivated him to work in all these different odd jobs that eventually got him through college. And he even made us all put down our emails and said he was going to send us books that would put us on that, you know, on that path that he took. And he actually sent us the books. Like once I got my book in the mail, it started to feel like these people actually wanted me to succeed. You know, the greatest thing we can do is invest in the future and, and the youth are the future. You know, how important is it that the Jets committed to being able to be part of programs and not put money, you know, there per se, but also to put resources and people um, that can come out and, and be able to, to reach and touch, you know, the people and the, the kids in the program? I mean, Bart, it's, it's just huge. I mean, that involvement, I think, is, is just huge. What we're talking about here, I think, with Operation Conversation Cops and Kids, with the DSY and building those new trust relationships, we're talking about culture change. You know, we're talking about changing hearts and minds. And that's what we have to do. And so when the Jets say, hey, we're going to be involved, we're going to come and we're going to host a DSY workshop, Development School for Youth workshop at MetLife Stadium. The Jets are going to be part of our development coaching program. So they're going to be coaches. So that involvement, you know, I think it's it's both very special and it's really needed. It's the kind of, you know, hard work we're all going to have to do if we want to really make a change. It was great to talk to Gabrielle, Dwayne, Revival, to hear more about their organization and which they're so passionate about. In the next episode of It Can't Wait, we're going to be talking to the Innocence Project, an organization that helps to free people who are wrongfully convicted of crimes. Tune in next time to It Can't Wait. Now that right there is what you call a game-changing new partnership. Let's go Jets! And keep that love coming in the comments. I see you guys. One of the best parts of our annual All-Stars Gala is getting to meet so many kids who are doing some pretty extraordinary things every day across this country. And here to help welcome you is one of those young leaders, a spoken word artist from Newark, New Jersey. Please give it up for Kali Raymond. A few weeks into my freshman year at Berkeley College, 
I found the All Stars Project. Just like striking diamond in a coal mine, the gym changed my life. Its eyes met mine. At the fair my college held, I found out about the talent show. Development school for youth, operation, conversation, cops and kids, internships, volunteering. I took the chance and decided to walk inside that building across the street. See, it's where all the magic took place. All stars and powers in the city youth to follow their wildest dreams through understanding and nurturing. Making their presence known in these young people's lives, not giving up on them. I was able to not worry about censorship whenever I conducted performances. Speaking freely, no one passing judgment or envy. After the show, people approaching me, thanking me, offering me other opportunities, receiving all the support I ever desired. Something I wish I would have received more of at home and inside the classroom. All Stars was an open book. Development School for Youth entered the picture. I learned more about networking, presentation, and public speaking there more than I ever did in school. Earned the respect of my mentors and peers and got the smell of roses while I'm still breathing. During the era of pandemics and social isolation, the All-Stars continues to provide virtual programming for all ages. How about that virtual mentorship and those virtual internships that will be starting some? Aza Ash, where does the road lead to next? I tell myself, we'll see once we get there. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the All-Stars 2021 Virtual Gala. Let's hear it for Kali Raymond one more time, guys. And like you, Sabrina Guthrie, I see your comment. I'm so excited for that Jets partnership. But as a Chicagoan, I'm happy to bring it back to my hometown. I'm proud to introduce a creative and courageous All-Stars leader, the city leader of the All-Stars Project of Chicago, my man David Cherry. Hello to everyone who has joined tonight to celebrate the All-Stars and to recognize our very deserving honorees, including Chicago's own Hillco Global. As we celebrate our success, we also extend our hearts to the many people in our nation and around the world who are grieving and suffering. We are losing too many loved ones to COVID, to drugs, to violence, and to other deaths of despair. And there are serious questions on the table about what it will take for us to create a more just and equitable America. I applaud the courage and passion of the many Black, Latinx, Asian American, Indigenous, and white young people in and outside the All-Stars who are leading the way in asking these questions. As a Black man who was raised in the civil rights movement, the son of a black father who instilled in me the urgent necessity of social and political action. I am proud to support the beautiful kaleidoscope of Americans who are on the streets and in the suites who are committed to win the fights for social justice and racial equity. Later tonight and or tomorrow morning, most of us will tune in to broadcast or cable news to catch up on what's happening in the world. We are likely to hear endless debates and discussions about our enormous problems. Far from obtaining solutions, too many people are left feeling powerless and polarized from their fellow Americans as we struggle with how to move forward as one nation. Our long held belief is that the alternative to injustice, violence, and hate is human development. And it is embodied in our mission. And here it is. Through the developmental power performance, we transform the lives of youth from poor and underserved communities in partnership with caring adults, giving everyone the opportunity to grow. This is what All Stars has been working to do for 40 years. And thanks to you, we are building a vibrant and welcoming home for anyone who sees that justice and development 
enhance and expand each other, making the world a better place for everyone. I'm now going to turn things over to All-Star CEO, Gabrielle Kurland. With Gabrielle's leadership, All-Stars has always done whatever it takes to create a culture of inclusion, which includes investing in me and other leaders of color. Thank you, Gabrielle, for your trust, your moral center, and your compassion. Thank you, David. It's been my honor to link arms with you, my friend, for more than 30 years now, can you believe it? <laughs> and I know your father would be so deeply proud of you and the beautiful and extraordinary impact you make on everyone you meet. Thank you so much, Gabrielle. That means so much to me. And welcome to all of you in the All-Stars community. I'm so glad that we can spend this time together. And I'm so glad that we've learned to how to be in each other's lives and how to build together, even as we've had to do it virtually. It's clear, isn't it, that the times demand that we find new ways to do what we've done for 40 years, to restore our shared humanity as a country and to live that shared humanity every day. At the All-Stars, we've worked very hard to make these pivots, to understand to understand and unearth the most important aspects of what we do, to reimagine our use of performance, our commitment to creating pathways out of poverty, and our unique understanding of human development. Out of this reexamination and reimagining process has come a new All Stars vision that will guide our growth and how we want to impact on the world going forward. And it goes like this. The All-Stars Project is on the forefront of building community by bridging racial, economic, and social divisions develop, to develop a caring 21st century America. I have no doubt that if we had a caring 21st century America, many of the problems and issues we face would be eliminated. A caring country would address poverty hunger, and violence. A caring country would provide access to education, to housing and health care, and a caring country would listen to the voices of all of its citizens. A caring country would do these things without using the filter of which political party or ideological group benefits from doing them. The most valuable resource this country has is its people, all of its people and we must take better care of our people. That's why we bring development to millions of people every day. That's exactly what we do at the All-Stars. That's what we're modeling at the All-Stars. That's our vision for a caring 21st century America. I look forward to working with all of you to realize this shared vision. We have so much to give to our young people, to their families, to our communities, to our country. Thank you for all you've given and all that you will give. Thank you for being an all-star. And thank you, David and Gabrielle, for those inspiring words. Speaking of dynamic leaders, who better to keep the inspiration and the love flowing than the man you're about to meet? Please give a big All-Stars welcome to Vice President and All-Stars Project of Dallas City Leader, Antoine Joyce. Doma T, my man, thank you so much. And good evening to all of you. I love to perform. I joined a talent show with the All-Stars 30 years ago as a kid from Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. Performance helped save my life. More importantly, performance helped me create my life and thousands like mine. During this past year, our young people had to grow in new ways, mostly in this virtual environment. And they had to become more creative with their at-home performances. So now I have the pleasure of showing you what some of that looks like. Let's do it. 
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a live performance of the All Stars Talent Show Network at home. I be your guy, the Diddy of Development. And first up, we got an act representing Dallas, Texas. They've been in the All Stars since 2018. They're a young band. Please welcome the Kid Brothers. Let's take it away. Now, let's go to the streets of Brooklyn with a dance group whose manager has been in the All-Stars for 20 years, y'all. That's right. Shout out to Trey Quan Middleton. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Secret Society. <laughs> Give it up for them, light up the chat, light up the chat, give it up. And now, for our finale performance, we have an original song inspired by all of you. So please welcome, from the San Francisco Bay Area, nine-year All-Stars, Destiny, and from Dallas, Texas, four-year All-Star, Juliana, the Savage Queen. Let's go. I've been challenged with so many things that happened in my life. I stand my ground and I don't go down without putting up a fight. My true self is what'll help me make it. I earned everything I have, I don't have to take it. Our equity is what humbled us and makes us all strong human beings. My 14th Amendment gave us the right to fair equality. ASP gave us the strength and tools to network. We use the skills we know for life issues and what is worth. We build bridges and make it very intense, but we stick together through everything and what we're up against. The All-Stars is filled with love and generosity. We develop day by day, that's one of our philosophies. You're the king adversity It's the All-Stars, everybody. Leading on equity We got all our tools, y'all. Creating with intensity We're ASP for life. Building with generosity These bridges, These bridges we're building. We're building. All-Stars, we're gonna lead the All-Stars keep leading the way. Bridges, These bridges, we're building. We're building. All stars, we're gonna lead the all stars way. keep leading the way. Bridges, Thank you to all of our supporters all stars and all of our volunteers. Thank you for helping bridges, us, young people, create building, and perform our lives. All stars and congratulations to our honorees Hillco Global, Mark Gans, and Drew Williamson. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I knew we were going to have a good time, but I didn't know this was going to be a party party. Let's hear it for those performances, guys. Those performances were bursting through the screen. I forgot that we were looking at each other virtually for a second. And I know the Secret Society also represents Long Island City, so let's hear it one time for Queens. Let's keep those shout outs going in the chat, by the way. Those young people deserve all of the love that we can give them, especially after those performances. And so does the woman who is about to pop up on your screen. Let's make some chat room noise for Vice President and City Leader of the All-Stars Project of New Jersey, Shade McDaniel. 
Thanks so much. What? Did you guys see that? That was unbelievable. Ugh, it's always a joy to see our young people perform. I'm just so proud. I'm just so proud to be an all-star. I mean, going through this strange and special last year with all of you and so many others, it has pushed my pride through the roof. We've reinvented programs, and then we went out and created brand new ones, all to continue bringing high quality development to young people virtually. And that's not all. We also completed a groundbreaking research study in partnership with Southern Methodist University. I'm so hyped to share with you all the initial findings. And now let's take a look. Over the last 40 years, our stakeholders and supporters have been telling us that All Stars Secret Sauce is development through performance. They have seen young people grow in some powerful new ways, and they know All Stars works. And now, thanks to an outcome study conducted by Southern Methodist University Center for Research and Evaluation, we have systematically validated and discovered that development can be characterized and measured. It's real, and young people develop in our programs. What are the dimensions of development that empower our youth to be full participants in every aspect of society, in their communities, at school, and in the workforce? Let's take a look. Relating to diverse people, family, friends, and caring adults, being appreciative and giving, relating in professional situations, being personally responsible, engaging with others and with the broader world, building confidence and acting improvisationally. Throughout the SMU core outcome study, we gathered hundreds of thousands of data points to capture this complex and critical human activity. Volunteers and young people work together to document the all-stars secret sauce. And in partnership with SMU researchers, we have shown that development through performance is how our young people, caring adults, and communities are coming together to transform what is possible now and for decades to come. Together, we will continue to take bold new steps to build bigger stages and greater strategic partnerships and collaborations so that many more Americans have access to and can invest in development. What strong evidence. Again, I continue to be so excited about our work. It is now my great pleasure to present an All-Stars Doctorate of Development to Ms. Yetunde Zanu. She is an evaluation project manager with Southern Methodist University's Center for Research and Evaluation, also known as CORE. At the university, she conducts program evaluations for alternative and supplemental education programs that promote equitable learning opportunities for students and underserved communities across the greater Dallas area. Yetunde was a project manager for our study. She worked closely with our staff to fully capture the range of experiences that young people have in our programs. She worked directly with Dr. Bonnie Gilden, All Stars VP of After School Development, Research and Policy. They worked together to create new tools that will help the entire field of after school better measure their impact and outcomes. And though that would be reason enough to recognize her tonight, we also want to acknowledge her contributions as a thought leader. I'll never forget when I first met you today, Tunde. She presented at an after school development conference hosted by the All Stars in Jersey. I was so impressed. Besides the fact that she's a bison from Howard, she's also smart. She's also thoughtful. And most of all, she is enthusiastic about making evaluation and analytics accessible and easy to understand. And dare I say, just, just fun. <laughs> So it is with my enormous pleasure that I present 
the All-Stars Doctorate Development to someone who is a proud, proud, proud partner of the All-Stars, someone we like to call our friend. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Yetunde Zanu. Thank you, Shade. Through my partnership with the All-Stars Project, I was able to apply problem solving, my mathematical mind, and my training in education research to consider creative ways to measure development through performance. And this innovative approach to developing youth is not easily captured through traditional tools. This process of collaborating with the All-Stars Project over the past six years has helped me grow as a researcher and it's allowed us to uniquely contribute to the field of youth development. This study and the tools we created together are of high significance for supporters of after school, youth development and alternative educational spaces. At the Center on Research and Evaluation at Southern Methodist University, our goal is to help all nonprofit partners use evaluation for organizational change, to benefit individuals and the communities that they serve, and ultimately to advance their practice and mission and communicate their value proposition and programmatic impact with funders and the broader philanthropic community. I am proud to have been a part of this effort and deeply appreciate this recognition. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much to Shade and Dr. Yatunde Zanu. Now let's check in on our social media wall to see what you guys have been posting using that hashtag ASP Vision virtually. Thank you to the All Stars Project Incorporated for an entertaining and informative gala. As we come out to these challenging times, there have been a more important, never been a more important organization. That is so true. And that's from David. Thank you, David. Continue to post using that hashtag ASP Vision virtually. All Stars National Gala. John is as excited as I am. I'm so excited I can barely read these. Let's do one more. Thank you to the All Stars Project for an entertaining and informative gala. Congrats to all of the participants. Best to start with the one that we, end with the one that we started with. I love that one. Awesome. And for all of you who aren't following us yet, please throw us a follow. Our handles are right here in the event description. And again, use that hashtag. We want to see you coming and keep those chats coming as well. Are you ready to meet another incredible all-star? No, I can't hear y'all at home. Are you ready to meet another incredible all-star? Well, let's welcome Associate Director of Youth and Community Development for the All-Stars Project of Chicago, my man, Dwayne Dixon. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, it is with great pleasure that I'm here to present the first award of the evening to corporate honoree Hillco Global. When All Stars launched 40 years ago, we were sure that if we're going to create real change, we would need to build bridges across communities and create opportunities for everyone to grow. Over the years, business, philanthropic and community leaders have linked arms with inner city youth and companies across corporate America have recognized how much all Stars and our young people can bring to them. One of All Stars' strongest partners is Hillco Global. For 12 years, Hillco Global's employees have been involved in a range of All Stars after school development programs. Their company, its leaders, and their network have invested, check this out, I'm going to say it slowly for you, more than $1 million in our programs. Give it up one time for Hillco Global. Here to help us pay tribute to Hillco Global is All Stars youth leader. Cedric Soglohun. My name is Cedric Soglohun and I am 21 years old. My family is originally from Togo and moved to Chicago when I was 12. Moving to Chicago was challenging for me. I work hard to learn the language and after joining the development school for youth, I became much more confident in my speech and in the level of things I was able to talk about. Last week, I graduated from Eastern Illinois University with a degree in marketing. One of the reasons I love my experience in the development school for you is it gave me the real world experience of an internship where I was able to find my passion for business. I had the opportunities to enter in the marketing department of Hilco Merchant Resource, 
On our first day at Hilco, Naveen Nagreen, the executive vice president operating partner in real estate, shook everybody's hands. I am still in touch with Alex, who reached out to see how my college experience is going, and Karen, my supervisor. It is like getting a gateway. Everyone wants to help you and see you succeed. To the whole Hilco team, thank you for providing opportunities for me and many DSY students to step out of our comfort zone and prepare us for our future. Thank you. Cedric, a big congratulations on graduating last week. Well done. Here to accept the award on the beh behalf of Hilco is Executive Vice President of Hilco Global and the All-Stars Chicago Board Chair and the All-Stars National Board Member, Ben Nortman. Congratulations, Ben. I know I speak for everyone at Hillco Global in saying how much we value our partnership with this amazing organization and how lucky we are to have the opportunity to directly interact with the incredible, energetic young people like Cedric that truly are all stars. Active engagement in the communities across the country that we work in is a real priority for Hillco. We are grateful through the all stars to have a real impact on motivated and talented young people who face obstacles of poverty, isolation, racism, and inequality. I'm especially grateful to the many Hilco individual partners, friends, clients, and even competitors that stepped up to make donations to the All-Stars in order to make this event a strong success. There's a lot more I could say and thank a lot of individual people, but I know that everyone will understand that the best way to say thank you and the best way to pay tribute to the All-Stars is by joining Dwayne and asking all of you here tonight to get personally involved. Being part of All-Stars has truly touched my life as I have seen firsthand how the All-Stars programs transform and improve the lives of our young people. These programs reach thousands of young people completely free of charge because of such a generous community of partners and people willing to both give and engage. Our goal for this gala was originally $2 million. We beat that goal and upped our goal to $2.25 million a few days before the event. And as of the, the planning for this event, we have just $98,000 to go to hit that goal. So I wanted to ask you if you haven't, or maybe even if you have, to make a contributions to All Stars right now and help us shatter that goal. Our honorees, the team at Hilco Global, Drew Williamson, Mark Gantz, along with Chair, Board Chair Maria Morris, and Board Leader Julian Tyke, announced a challenge match for the final days of the campaign. And every dollar we raise here tonight up to $50,000 will be matched by us. To pledge, please send a text right now to 970-840-9000. And in the message, write ASP, a space, the amount you'd like to give, a space, and then your name, and a short message if you'd like. Again, to pledge, please send a text to 970-840-9000. And in the message, write ASP, a space, the amount you'd like to give, and then your name. All right. So everybody check this out. We've got a fundameter going tonight. So once you text that number and you make your gift, you're going to be able to see your name pop up right here. And here's the good news. There is no minimum to give or maximum for that matter. However, just $76 sponsors one young person in our programs. $1,000 makes you a member of our leadership giving circle. And for $5,000, you'll sponsor an entire virtual workshop. 
this continues to be a hard year for young people across the country. Their world has become smaller than ever. But as you can see, at the All-Stars, we are going for broke when it comes to providing young people with the growth and the stability through a tough time of big changes in their lives. So we sincerely appreciate each and every one of you for making this possible. And please remember, it's not just about the money. You can also get involved with your time. Hilco has made direct connection to the All-Stars part of our approach to full community engagement. We host several interns every year, even virtually, and many of our employees participate actively and directly in programs providing development and growth to our youth. Please join All-Stars as a volunteer, either personally or through your company. We need hundreds of adult volunteers to coach young people one-on-one -on -one or support programs which provide resume building skills, personal interview skills, and much more. Please visit allstars.org slash get involved to learn how. That link is also in the event description below. Please sign up and learn more. I promise you'll get back even more than you give. Yes, and like Domati said earlier at the top, you can also follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Be sure to use our hashtag ASP Vision Virtually to help us spread the word of the All-Stars incredible work and to see the impact of your gift. All right, so now let's check in with our fundometer and see what we've got. So we've got Jack Silverman coming in and more anonymous gifts. I love those. Uh, Pete keeps sending those gifts in. So right now we're at $12,621. Angela Keller, thank you so much. Roy, Jenny, Zach, Mike King. It, it's so good to see all these gifts. Thank you all for your continued support. So Ben and I are going to go. We're going to check in on our progress later in the show. Thank you all for making this possible. Exciting stuff. Here to shine a well-deserved spotlight on our next two honorees and to share how they've been creating partnerships with caring adults are All-Stars youth leaders, Alicia Morales and Salaje Whiskey Edwards. My name is Salaje Whiskey Edwards. And I am Alicia Morales. It is our pleasure tonight to recognize two of All-Stars most caring adults, Mark Gans and Drew Williamson. Mark is a principal at EY and a critical leader of the 20 year EY All-Stars National Partnership. As a New York DSY trustee, he actively leads and shapes EY's involvement in the DSY, including the creation of a national virtual internship program last summer that has become a post COVID model for other companies. Mark and his wife, Jody are generous supporters of all we do here at the All-Stars. Drew is a partner at Cooley and is a visionary leader in the growth of our Bay Area and national impact. Drew leads the National Cooley All-Stars Partnership, is the founding chair of our San Francisco Bay Area Board, and is an active member of our National Board of Directors, all while being personally involved as a development coach, DSY workshop conductor, and with his wife, Jill Jarrett, a philanthropist of our programs. When the pandemic hit, Mark and Drew did everything and more to make sure that All Stars had whatever it needed to be there for the young people whose families and communities were really hurting. It's easy to feel alone when so much has shut down or disappeared. But because of Mark and Drew, we also know that hope is still there. I am very pleased to be here tonight to help pay tribute to Drew Williamson. I am from the Southwest side of Chicago. There's a lot of poverty and violence. I didn't know that things were different in other places until I went to high school in downtown Chicago. I graduated from the University of Illinois, Chicago last spring. I am a first generation Mexican American college graduate. My dream is to earn my law degree and masters of public health. Last fall, the All-Stars reached out about their new virtual program, Development Coaching, and my coach was Drew. I've talked to a lot of people about becoming an attorney. So many people joke and say, did we scare you? Are you sure you want to go to law school? Drew didn't do that. He went in depth with his answers, giving me a guidebook to law school and the legal field, explaining why it can be a difficult career. Before I met the All-Stars, I had never met a lawyer before. 
where I come from, there's no way to connect with people like Drew. And the fact that he took me seriously and wanted to hear what I thought means a great deal to me. Drew, thank you for supporting me all the way from San Francisco to be proud of my story as I navigate the next step in my career. You help me see that what makes me me is important and allows me to stand out. Thank you. Wow. Thanks, Alicia. That's quite a, quite a statement. It's been really awesome to get to know and work with you over the course of the past six months, and I look forward to continuing our journey together. I'd like to thank all of my friends and colleagues at Cooley who've given so generously to support tonight's celebration. I'd also like to thank my wife, Jill Jarrett, for her partnership and support, and also give a special shout out to our two kids, Rex and Ivy both of whom are learning that giving back's really important in this family. I knew that the All Stars Project was a very different organization the moment that I set foot in Lincoln Center in New York City back in 2008 for my first national gala. I was used to writing checks to organizations that I'd supported. And while the All Stars Project has no problem asking anybody to write a check, what makes us really different is that we invite every single person who walks through our doors to become an active participant in executing on our mission. Here in the Bay Area and across the country, it's been truly amazing to me to see how many young people have had their lives positively impacted by the All Stars Projects programs. And frankly, participating in those programs myself, I know that all of them make all of us much better human beings. When the All Stars Project launched development coaching last summer, I jumped at the opportunity, as I hope that all of you will, to work one-on-one -on -one with some of our young people who've been most adversely impacted by the pandemic and help them to continue their personal and professional development. Those of you who know me know that connecting with people from different backgrounds and with different experiences gets me pretty fired up. I truly believe that coming together, having real and sometimes very difficult conversations sitting in our collective discomfort together and being human is the only way that we're all going to be able to tackle and solve some of the thorniest problems with which our country is currently faced. And in that regard, development coaching and other All-Stars Project conversations that I've had are some of the most meaningful and impactful conversations that I've ever had. I hope that you'll get involved with the All-Stars Project become a development coach. If you do that, I promise you, you will change a young person's life forever. And I also promise you that they'll change yours forever. Thank you all again for honoring me this evening. I'm very pleased to be here tonight to help pay tribute to Mark Gans. I'm 18 years old and I live in East New York, Brooklyn. In my parts of the neighborhood, there's trash everywhere. And when I cross into other neighborhoods, it is very clear that the city invests in keeping it clean and looking nice. Walking around my neighborhood in Brooklyn has opened my eyes to some of the ways that I like to be able to make an impact. Last summer, I had the opportunity to intern at EY. Even in the heart of the pandemic, Mark and the EY team created an incredible internship experience for me and for many others. At EY, we learned about ourselves and about their business. When we had to give a presentation, I was extremely nervous, but the EY team helped us practice. I did such a good job that I felt so proud of myself afterwards. Mark, thank you for being a champion of the All Stars Project and DSY, and for empowering the team of Christina, Belinda, and Olivia, or CBO as we called them, to create the most interesting, fun, and growthful internships. To see what you have accomplished and how successful you are and have you in our corner means the world. 
Thank you for creating opportunities at EY for young people like me, especially in the midst of a pandemic. Thank you. Thank you, Salaje. There are a couple people who I need to thank. First, as Salaje mentioned, Team CBO, Christina Woodbury, Belinda Sosa, and Olivia Walker, three exceptional EY professionals that make EY's involvement with DSY so special. Thank you for all you do, it's truly appreciate it. Thank you also to John Cousy, my EY New York City co-leader on all of our DSY initiatives. There are so many others to thank at EY. We've had literally hundreds of volunteers in our 20 year partnership with DSY. However, I wanna give a special shout out to Jay Fenlaw, Michelle Jenkins, John Gunn, Colleen Warner, Margie Rowlandson and Abdul Abjani who lead EY's DSY efforts in their respective cities. Thank you also to Susan Robinson and Lisa Lim who serve on different ASP boards. And a really very, very special thank you to Kate Barton, our global vice chair of tax whose passion for, for the All-Stars is contagious and her inspiring leadership also helps pave the way for our involvement. And last but certainly not least, I wanna thank my wife, Jody, and my two kids, Maddie and David. Simply, they inspire me to be a better person and to leave the world in a better place than I found it. I first heard about the All-Stars in 2004 when I bumped into a colleague in a tuxedo. I asked him where he was going and he told me he was attending the All-Stars National Gala. And after telling me about the organization, he suggested that I get involved. And he was right. And after leading a number of DSY workshops, I was hooked. Frank Hertz, if you're out there listening tonight, thank you. I may never have found DSY if it wasn't for you. I was already involved in a number of ENY's DNI initiatives and supported other not-for-profits. But DSY was and is closest to where I want to be, working with young people before college on broadening their horizons, helping them realize their potential and encouraging them in ways that they've never been encouraged before. But as much as I know how we have had an impact on the DSY students, some of whom are now working at EY in professional capacity, it isn't even close to what EY has received from this relationship. Within EY tax, DSY is a significant part of our DNA and we continue to expand our reach. We're hosting interns in New York, New Jersey, Dallas, the Bay Area, and we're working now to get interns in Chicago and our DC office. I'm also really pleased that EY Ripples, our corporate social responsibility program, is also helping us expand our reach and seize DSY as a way for all of EY to positively impact the communities in which we work. Being part of All Stars in DSY has furthered my desire and drive to give back. I want to not only be an act, I only, I want to not only be active in pulling people up, but also do more to address the underlying issues that are continuing to push people down. Among other things, working with an incredibly diverse group of young people has taught us how to be more inclusive, how to involve everyone, including kids with viewpoints and experiences that are different from someone like me, an international tax lawyer. Imagine that, someone having a different worldview than a tax lawyer. <laughs> Whoever would have thought. Seriously though, I truly urge everyone here to become involved and to get your company involved. And if you wanna make a difference in and outside your company and community, then working with DSY is definitely a no brainer. In closing, I need to add that I have been a lifelong New York Giants fan. However, I believe that respect should be shown where respect is due. Thank you to the New York Jets for their special partnership with the All-Stars. Let's go Jets. And thank you everyone. I hope you all have a great night. Congratulations to Drew and Mark and congratulations to Dr. Yatunde Zanu, Hilco Global and all of the amazing All-Stars who are growing every day. I'm proud to announce that tonight's celebration has raised a total so far of $25,871. Let's see those jazz hands for that. That makes for a total of $2,256,000 for our gala campaign. 
That is amazing. Thank you all so much. Keep those generous gifts coming and help All Stars reach more young people with these free programs. As I watch these students talk, especially those from Chicago, I was that kid from the south side of Chicago, born to West African immigrants from Ghana. And I see their stories reflected in my own. If not for programs like this, I wouldn't have been able to actualize my purpose. So every time that you guys give, you're making an actionable change. So for that reason, this link will continue to be live so that anyone who watches after tonight can also join in on the fun. But for now, we want to celebrate our success. And there's no better way to do that than with one of our amazing young people. Hi, everyone. I'm Scarlett from the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm here to wrap up our GAL experience with a development tip you can take home with you today. A development tip is a fun way that we at the All Stars Project are always exercising our development skills, seeing new opportunities and possibilities in the world and growing within them. And here's your tip for today. Do five things differently. Take a moment and just think about the things you do every day without ever realizing it. Which hand do you always pick your phone up with? And what's the first thing you do when you wake up? Think of five things that you already do and make a decision to try something different. To give you some ideas, here are five things I tried to do differently. I drank a cup of water in the morning when I woke up. I did some stretches. I told myself in the mirror that I'll have an amazing day no matter what happens. I ate a bowl, bowl of fruits in the afternoon. And after work, I went for a bike ride. When you think of five things, do them for an entire day and tell us about it on social media and tag us using the hashtag ASP Vision Virtually. Did it feel weird? Was it silly? Was it hard to break some habits? Share the impact it had on you. You can share your experience by writing about it, creating a poem, making a short video, taking pictures of the new things you tried or anything else that inspires you. We're excited to see your new performances. Bye. We want to thank all of you for coming out this evening, and we hope to see you next year live and in person. But in the meantime, keep standing with the All-Stars, keep donating, that link is live, and keep telling everyone about this amazing organization using that hashtag, ASP Vision Virtually. I'm Doma T. Pongo, and saying that hosting tonight's event is an honor would be an understatement, but it's the only words that I have, man. It's totally been an honor. Thank you so much, and have a great evening.